Hello and welcome to Brick Tech Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you guys finally update 9.0. And in this update I'm going to be showing you a bunch of stuff that I've been building as you can see on screen. Lots of stuff in piles all over my desk. This is just a bunch of pieces and Halo stuff that I have lying around right now. As you can see, there's a bunch of dark tan pieces because I'm working on a little flood mock from Halo 3 called Floodgate. And I'm working on some flood forms and stuff like that. So it should be really cool and the picture will be on Flickr. I might be doing a showcase video on YouTube also with my white background. So leave a comment down below if you'd like me to do a video of that mock. I am also working on my Covenant figure tutorials. As you have seen, I have so far uploaded a grunt tutorial, a drone tutorial, and a brute tutorial. And as you can see on screen, there are many elites, and I'm definitely doing an elite tutorial. As you can see, this is the Arbiter that I have. He's not even uh, the most latest version. I have done some a little additions like the little yellow light on his right shoulder and that'll be reflected into in the tutorial when I do it. Also the hunter I have actually revamped a little bit as you can see there's some chrome pieces on the cannon and uh, that'll just make it look way more detailed. This is actually the shipmaster from Halo 3. Um, uh, this is not even the latest version. I've actually swapped out his right clip on his face with just a one by one uh, square plate so he will have that missing jaw thing. That's actually a very uh, key characteristic of that character. And this is Arbiter here with a shotgun looking really epic. He actually has dark um, shiny silver uh, tooth pieces to reflect that really nice cool uh, stealth armor that he has and overall very nice looking this is the elite combat form for the flood uh, this is an elite major that was taken over by a flood spore and as you can see there's the little red antenna things popping out it looks pretty cool I'll be doing a tutorial on that also also you can see there is an elite head on the side of it that's just because when the flood take over the elites they actually snap the elites neck very morbid but they put the elites head to the side so just a little out of detail i think it looks really really cool and i couldn't make a, a blue elite because of uh there are no dark blue tooth pieces for elites this is my new elite or my new halo 3 marine uh, using the Bane Torso from the Dark Knight Rises Lego set and also Commander Gree's leg or leg pieces with uh, camouflage from the new ATAP Walker from this year. Here's the Master Chief with Cortana. It's a very makeshift Cortana thing as you can see by that trans life blue cone. But I'm looking into getting the Master Chief in that new olive color from Brickforge, but so far all of those pieces are sold out on their website. So hopefully. I can get that very soon. This is my first iteration of the flood infection form. It's actually, a, it looks accurate, but it's just way too big compared to minifigures and the rest of the covenant, so I'm working on scaling that a little better. Here is my brute uh, miner. Uh, you've seen this in the tutorial that I made, link below if you haven't seen it, and annotation on screen if you would like to watch it. But yeah, basic, very basic, uh, very cool looking, really um, really captures the Brute aesthetic very well. And here's the Brute Chieftain. I will be doing a tutorial if you guys like me to do one. Uh, he's pretty much exactly the same as the Miner with uh, just a few color changes and additions of armor to his arms and stuff. And then also the Gravity Hammer I can do a tutorial on as well. Here is the Brute uh, combat form. Uh, similar to the Elite combat form, there are some antennas coming out and that giant um, arm thing that's bulging out from the right. Uh, it looks pretty good. I'd ideally want to make the Flood in dark tan, but just because of uh, lack of pieces in the dark tan color, these, these uh, forms will be in normal tan. And here's my drone. Uh, you can see the tutorial link below and annotation on screen if you'd like to watch it. It's very awesome looking um, and looks just like the drone in the game. Uh, here's the grunt tutorial. This is, I think, a grunt major in the dark red color. 
Uh, there's a tutorial uh, annotation on screen and link below if you'd like it and it looks really cool and you can customize the colors if you would like. Here is a turret from Halo 3 and Halo Reach. It's kind of a mix between them. Uh, it's pretty much um, just, uh, it's very basic. If you'd like me to do a tutorial on it, uh, leave a comment down below and I can do that really easily because it's a very easy model to assemble. Leave a comment below. Here is just a sort of uh, makeshift barrier I made for the UNSC in my old New Alexandria mock. Uh, I can do a tutorial on that too if you would like, so leave a comment down below if you would like to see that. Here is a covenant barrier. It's also um, actually very w well scaled. It's just in dark blue though. I'd, I'd ideally want it to be in purple, and I can actually get purple pieces. So um, I might be doing that, and I can also do a tutorial on that as well. Here is my UNSC weapon um, little storage area thing. I don't even know what I would call it. It's a, a weapon rack, that's what it's called. I can do a tutorial on that. Also, basically, if you want to see any tutorials, leave a comment down below for anything I've shown on screen, and I might be able to do that. And finally, here's my Warthog. It is actually uh, finished now, and it's on Flickr, so I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to see the finished photos. It actually looks a little different from what it does uh, on the screen right now. Uh, this uh, video was captured a few days before I actually finished the model. As you can see, the turret rotates and um, there is some sort of working suspension with each wheel. And overall, it's a pretty good minifig scaled and accurate. So that's all for this update. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. Uh, also, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this new format for my updates. Instead of me walking around the room, I can just do a voiceover. Also, new tutorials coming this week, and that is pretty much it. So check out my Flickr for that photo below. Also, my Twitter account where I tweet what I'm uploading and when I'm uploading it. And also, subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles! Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want to see my Halo Brew tutorial or my Halo Drone tutorial, please click the annotations on screen right now. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter for all the latest updates.